welcome to the 2008 Holiday Parade in downtown Paducah. I am Tammy Thompson from West Kentucky Community and Technical College, and I have with me a new co <laughs> MC with me. I have Chuck Tate. Thank you, Tammy, very much. I'm, I'm honored and proud to be here. <laughs> from the uh, Carson Center. I know you are, Chuck. And we are all happy to be here, and all of these people are down here anxiously <laughs> awaiting the parade as it, as it comes down the street. And uh, the first um, entry that we have, Chuck, right behind our uh, police officer escort that escorts the parade in every year, we're going to have the, it's a very long name, the Baduca Tillman High School Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. Right, right. There's and a so, 110 students involved. 110 in it. students in it. And they're just about to come up the street. We're going to step out of the way and our, we're going to leave our camera guy, Dan Shepard, in the street to try not to get hit here. Leading the group is the unit's color guard. And it's eight years of existence. The unit has the unit has won the highest national honor for junior ROTC units, the Distinguished Unit Award. Actually, Tops is one of the the most uh, decorated and uh, most distinguished units in the country. So that's great for Virginia. It is. We don't want to miss, of course, we have Susie Corner here. She is our Grand Marshal this year, a very big advocate for the uh, for Paducah. And uh, she has been instrumental in getting this uh, newest attraction, the ice rink down here in downtown Paducah, as well as been from the very beginning with the barbecue on the river, one of the other big events here in the we, city. We love the barbecue festival, don't we? There's Mayor Paxson and two of the commissioners. Yes, Gail Kaler. And I can't see on the other side. Carol Galt, that's Carol right. Galt, yeah, Commissioner Galt, recently elected. Oh no, she's feeling it for And us. we have the judge executive, Van Newberry. Merry Christmas. And some of his family members in the back. We have, these are our outstanding high school students, Chuck. We have several. It's on our second page. We're having to turn our pages here. We're having a little bit of trouble. There we go. Several of them are from uh, Reedland, Lone Oak, Heath and St. Mary's. That's right, Louise Butler, Allie Hine, Amy Beasley, Kelly Nays, Henry Hunt, I, know Blake, I saw Blake Harrison, he was in there too. Louis Butler and Josh Davis. These are the Red Hatters, uh, a member of the Red Hat Society, uh, which is an organization for women over 50, and they have been since 2005 here in Paducah. I didn't tell you this, but I'm a member of that organization. Are you, Chuck? Where's yes. your red hat? You're missing it tonight. Uh, I left it at home. Oh, well, that's don't, not Don't right. tell them. They, oh. They'll ban me from the I'm going to go and find them. I'm going to tell on you. There's the uh, Civil Air Patrol from Paducah. Silver Ever Tro has been in existence in, since 1946, and they have uh, have three um, things that they want to promote, Chuck. Aviation, helping and providing training for the youth of our nation, and continuing its emergency services um, that they're best known for. Well, that's a wonderful organization. We're very, very glad and thankful for all their work and service. Hey, we guys. Oh, I hear a band, Chuck. Parkview Nursing Rehabilitation Center. Oh, Followed the by the big band of blue, the Duke of Tillman Band. Awesome. Wonderful. Very, very, Repeat very, very. Sounding joy. <laughs> Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat. Okay, stop the cry. We don't want to ruin that, do we, Chuck? No. All the cadence. Come, they're followed by their color guard. And they look very cold. They look uh, like they're in pajamas. They are in uh, pajamas. Uh, <laughs> All right. Welcome, Tot School. Tot School, that is from the Paducah Park Services and they have a group of three to five year olds and they work with those, teaching them all the things that they need to know before they get to school. I've seen it, I've seen it. And they do a TV show right. with us on Paducah too. So I've if you ever that. want to see uh, kids from Tot School, you can just tune in to Channel 2 or go to paducah2.org. Right, I've seen it and they it's a really, really good program. We have Kids Railroad from Harmony Baptist Church. That um, that program at the church teaches the gospel of Christ to children from preschool through high school. Hey 
guys. I Been around also since. Also, uh, with that is the con the Cornerstone Congressional Congressional Congregational <laughs> Holiness Church, organized in 1967. And they have over 4,000 churches and missions reaching 19 countries. You can be sure I'm going to hear, not going to hear the I end know, of that I congressional. Know. Look at the, our wonderful veterans, uh, some of our disabled veterans groups, the Miles uh, Meredith Chapter Number 7. And we Merry definitely Christmas. do want to say Merry Christmas to all of our Merry veterans. Christmas. And Thank to be for thank thanking them for our service. That's right, Tammy. Thank you. And all to think of those that are serving right now and keeping our country safe Most as, definitely. as we celebrate our holiday season. They're we, working hard to keep us safe. We definitely want to keep them in our thoughts and prayers. So I'm glad you brought that up. We have the Hot Shots, which is a group that is trying to do away with type 1 diabetes. And they are talking about together they want to make a difference because insulin is not a cure. But that, that candy is, so give me a piece of it, candy because I <laughs> missed it. Next, we have members from the Post 31 American Legion, more of our veterans in our community. And I like that Jeep, Chuck. I need a ride in that. Well, I actually have one just like it at home, Tammy. It's not green, but um, it's, it's, it's something I built in the backyard. Really? Next, we have the Lone Oak. The Lone Oak Fire Department, which serves over 24.5 square miles. And we, we certainly want to thank our firefighters and all of our, all of our firefighters across the area for all of the services they provide us. And keeping us safe, followed by members of the Paducah Fire Department. They've been busy this week. Thankfully, yes. they uh, did a really good job getting uh, the, the the uh, Manual Baptist fire under control, making sure that that church wasn't more damaged than it was. And again, they do such great work and they keep us safe and they have a very dangerous job. No, they do. They do. Not definitely, everybody definitely. can do that job. No, they can't. They can't. They put their life on the line and we're very, very thankful for all their service. And uh, another group we're thankful for, the Girl Scouts. Every yes. year they sell cookies and we really enjoy that. That's right. Troop 574. They are third grade girls from the St. Mary Elementary School. They recently spent time at the Challenger Learning Center learning about space and earth. That is a really cool center, and you know where that is, don't you? I sure do. I, I, I go there quite often, actually. Well, that's neat. Next, we have Girl Scout Troop 1702. Yeah, that's uh, from Paducah. These girls attend Lone Oak Elementary, and are most, most of them are in fourth grade. Uh, this year, the girls have adopted a grandparent from Parkview and bought toys uh, for Todd's for Christmas. So they're going to give uh, the grandparents and the kids that need toys a good Christmas this year. So we, we're glad to have kids like that in our community who really care for the community. And Absolutely, their, their, Chuck. Their people. We have some more Girl Scouts with us. Troops, oh, let me see here, 463, 2276, and 1053. Yeah. Merry Christmas. What are these Followed by their these? devoted parents what are, who are walking with the Girl Scouts. What and are supporting. these crazy little? Is this Independence Bank? It looks like it. Well, I'm. <laughs> Be careful, Tammy. They're, they're, I, I don't know if I trust those drivers. What do you think? Oh, they're very cute. They are cute. I was thinking the same thing. They are members from Independence Bank. I saw the number on there. It said number 22. So that's they are. They have two locations yeah. in Paducah. And they are driving the cutest little cars. Jump out there, Chuck. See if you can get a ride. See if you can jump right on I, I will. Oh, got to <laughs> slow down. That, I bet those get really good gas mileage. <laughs> the uh, the community-driven you know Independence Bank, we're really, really uh, glad to see them tonight. Oh, we have some stragglers, Chuck. They're coming behind. <laughs> We have the uh, industrial maintenance and gears truck. Nice decorated float coming right towards us. Let's get over there. <laughs> They're we, not slowing down a bit. We leave our videographer Dan out there to try not to get hit. Right. They've been around for uh, five years. They have over 40 employees travel all over the world, do maintenance on industrial uh, marine maintenance. It's actually located in Paducah, and they travel all over the world, do a lot of great work. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 
I was really looking forward to this part in the parade, the McCracken County Fair Queen, <laughs> which I, by chance I was beat by two votes. Really? Well, Chuck, you know, maybe you just didn't wear the right outfit. I didn't. I, can I interview her? Sure, go right ahead. Her name is Mariah Ellis, and she's a graduate from Marshall County High School and now attending the University of Mississippi, where she's going to be a nurse practitioner. All right. Oh, go, go Rebels, I guess. Isn't that the oh, I have, don't <laughs> ask me, Chuck. It is. All we right. have the uh, First Baptist Church of Paducah coming with uh, a their wonderful flow. Oh, it's yes. beautiful. It's beautiful. They want to remind you that the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ, is the reason for the season, Chuck. Definitely, definitely. They also ask us to keep our uh, servicemen and women in our prayers uh, this holiday season, so we definitely will. Thank you, First Baptist. Oh, she's, she's, she has the ice skating. That's so All cute. Right. Merry Christmas. Have you been to the ice skating rink, Tammy? Actually, I haven't yet, Chuck. Uh, my daughter has. She said it was wonderful. And we also, like I said, want to thank Susie Corner and all of the group and the workers that work to bring that here. I think it's been a great addition to downtown Paducah. I Paducco. completely agree. I completely agree. All right, Chuck, the next we have Marigold the Clown. That's right. You know, she's been clowning for 14 years. She's originally from Washington State. She's a member of the Red Nose Brigade. Well. Which I'm a member now, too, because I'm freezing. I know, no doubt. And look, Chuck, now, Chuck, I think you need to go and get that right there. You could definitely ride that. <laughs> I don't think so, but I would definitely like to wear the tights. You know what? Well, that might help you win next year. You could be the queen. Thank you very All much. All right, you know what? I don't understand how they even stay on that thing, I Chuck. I either, but he's going to have a hard time getting off of it. All right, Chuck, who do we have next? I do believe I see the Grinch coming down here, Chuck. Yeah, I, I thought um, that was the Grinch, but uh, it also looked a lot like my dad, too, so I wasn't <laughs> for, sure, <laughs> for sure who it was. The Paducah, uh, Paducah City Schools Transportation Department bringing their bus decorated all nice for the Christmas season. You know, Chuck, they transfer, transport approximately 2,000 school kids every day. Wow. You know, that's precious cargo. Oh, I know. I know it is. They, they have 28 full-time members, and we want to wish them all a Merry Christmas. They do McNabb, Clark, uh, Paducah Middle School, Tillman. Next we have Huang. I never know how to pronounce that. Tom, Tom Butler's over here helping me. One Huang's Martial Arts. <laughs> Just kicked you. You're right, Chuck. Kicked me around the shoe. <laughs> the U.S. Postal Service. Actually, this this is more of Wang's martial arts coming down. Followed by the U.S. Postal Service. I like their flow. Oh my goodness, Chuck. They are serious. Taekwondo, Taekwondo, Chuck. Followed by some of our favorite people, particularly this time of year, the U.S. Postal Service, the Paducah Post Office, has been helping Santa for over 200 years, Chuck. That's a, that's a long time. They do a good job at it, too. They sure they? do. They're out there, rain, snow, it doesn't matter. This coming up next is the Heath High School Band, Chuck, under the direction of Tony Brown. Tom, uh, Tammy, I have to say that I'm a little partial to this band because that's my alma mater, and, and so they're a very, very good group. I think it's also the alma mater of Tom as well, Tom Butler, our production supervisor. But I, that I, was a long, long time ago, Chuck. <laughs> it was. I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> He's not going to let me live. I'm going to be in big trouble on Monday. I just love the sound of percussion, Chuck. I do too, I do too. All these uh, talented kids are very, 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 very good job, but one of those saxophones were bigger than the, the students. Did you see that? <laughs> It's very huge. hard to go to all kinds of competitions and play and all year round. 
I'm not sure, Chuck. I think these are members from the Center Stage Dance Studio. Oh, definitely. And Freddie's Ballroom Dance Studio. Merry Christmas. They work hard, too. Very talented. Very talented performers. You know, Chuck, everybody really seems to be in the Christmas spirit. I think so. Here. I think so. Well, the wonderful decorations the city do every year, I mean, it's, it's hard not to get in the, the spirit. The city do. The city does. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure what the number is on this, Chuck. I, I'm not sure. It looks like some more Girl Scouts, though. Yeah. On a big, fall, I mean, hauled by a big John Deere I was going to say Cub Scouts, but I think it was Girl Scouts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you can say Cub Scouts, <laughs> pack number 20. Yes, they are from Lone Oak. And they have over 40 members, and they range from Tiger Cubs, which are in the first grade, to the Weeblos, who are in the fifth grade. Awesome. That's great. Hey, guys. And they do all kinds of camping trips and all kinds of things to help the community, growing up to be our leaders of tomorrow. You know, I was never a Cub Scout, but I really wish I was. There, there are some smart kids in that, in that organization. I, I was a Girl Scout once. You know what my favorite part was? S'mores. <laughs> That was my very favorite part. Now, Chuck, we have Veterans of Foreign Wars. Hey, I post 1191 from Paducah, Kentucky. Glad to see them. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you all for your service. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Thank you for your service. And we have a float number 35, the Chuck E. Cheese Winter Family. Mm, uh, Chuck E. Cheese, I'm hungry. I am too. Very, very hungry. Um, you know, they uh, want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. And, they want to wish everybody a fun night and uh, full of enjoyment while they're warming up by the fire. Chucky, what, you got some marshmallows? <laughs> you don't get any. Look, he's leaving. You don't get any. He's going to put it on his pizza. <laughs> no, this one's really good. Really mm -hmm. good topic. Next, Chuck, we have the Paducah Power System, That's which right. serves over 22,000 customers in the Paducah McCracken County area. For, the, for nearly 50 years. Right, and their uh, wonderful lighting display at Noble Park is absolutely great. It's something they encourage everybody to go see, and they encourage dropping off a can good, too. For, or a cash donation right, to right. help those in need and to help build up our pantries um, for the rest of the year. Correct, correct. It's great. It's a great, great drive, and it's a wonderful lighting display. You can do that now and between New Year's Eve. Next, we have FDR. Honda Kawasaki. Yeah, they, uh, they're located at uh, 1034 Broadway, celebrating 40 years of wonderful customer service and 18 years of Kawasaki service and Honda service. Merry Christmas. Brownie Troop, Brownie Troop 1128, Chuck. Yeah, they uh, consist of nine girls from Lone Oak, Hendren, Lone Oak, Morgan, and a lot of homeschoolers in this group. And they have a lot of community service projects, Check that they're working on every year. Uh, the Salvation Army Angel Tree, they work with Home Unlimited, Closed Closet, and, and go to several flag ceremonies. That's great. That's great. I like the, I like the fact they also visit shut-ins, too. And uh, this is their fourth year together, so we're glad to have them in the parade. Oh, and they're little snowflakes. Now, Tammy, I would like to see you in one of those. You need That's to get so one of those. cute. We have the um, American Family Radio, that's WBEL and WGCF. Tammy, they, uh, they play uh, contemporary Christian, traditional Christian, and American Family uh, Network Radio. And their float is, of course, from the Veggie Tales. Chuck. Chuck, I want you to know that you are absolutely the man. Everybody that passes by here wants to shake your hand and knows your name. Well, I don't know that they want to necessarily shake my hand, but they... <laughs> they know you. They yeah, know you are. Yeah. We have now, Chuck, we have Larry Meadows Body Shop and Towing. Yeah, they wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. They're collecting a lot of toys for Tots and uh, appreciate their hard work. That siren you hear... Uh, <laughs> wow. Coming from the Concord Fire Department, but before that, we have Federal Materials Company. Yes, and they've been in business for uh, helping homeowners for over 70 years, Chuck. And they, of course, work with concrete, sand, gravel, and help everyone building homes and such. Yes, uh, I'm glad you were able to get that in in the sirens. You did a good <laughs> job, Penny. Now you can talk about the fire department, Chuck. Well, that's the Concord Fire Department, the Paducah-McCracken County Rescue Squad. 
do a fantastic job fighting fires in uh, emergency service in the uh, in the county. So we're yes, and they also also do water rescue, ground search and rescue, and traffic control for events such as the holiday parade. Right, right. They do a good job, and they have loud sirens. Yes, they do. And horns. <laughs> I think they might have been telling our uh, Dan, get out of the way. <laughs> more of their, um, more of the fire department coming with the firefighters out tonight. Right, and another time you'll see them is when, when we have the all the festivals downtown, all of our wonderful festivals that, that you and I and many uh, wonderful community leaders help in. So, Merry come Christmas. See us. Come see them too, I guess. Yes. Merry Christmas. And they have a they have a lot of people representing they do. the, the they Concord do. Fire Department. Concord this Fire evening. Department, McCracken County uh, Rescue Squad. They work hard. They um, have a lot of equipment, a lot of uh, <laughs> people, and that that uh, put their life on the line to fight fire. So we really appreciate their service. Appreciate uh, them giving their uh, time up to uh, to help with with the community. Now, I don't know if you see, Tammy, but the Night Moves Dance uh, Squad is coming up, and they're really, really interesting. Yes, Chuck, that they, they're here every year, Chuck, the Night Moves Dancers, and they come out and they dance a little jig for us and show us all the great stuff that if you're interested in that, you could come and be a part of their organization, I, too. I know. I would like that, but I've got a bad hip, so the oh. doctor told me not to dance anymore. <laughs> oh, said, is that the excuse you're yes, using, Chuck? Go yes. with that. That's good. They've been around since 1991 and going strong. The Paducah Renaissance Alliance doing a great job. Hey, Jessica. You know, they're downtown development. They recruit business. and they, Hey, David, they help with barbecue on the river, and they do a lot of uh, uh, retail recruitment for downtown. So also historic preservation in buildings and a lot of different things they do. Paducah Renaissance Alliance. And they're throwing koozies at us. They now. sure they hit you. Which right. if you <laughs> <laughs> they hit you with that. If one you joke. have trouble keeping your beverage warm today, you uh, you're I in guess trouble. It, yeah. Oh, another Grinch up there that that you said it looked like your dad, Chuck. <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> it, 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 just a, a little bit. It That's, is. It's K E A S P, the Kentucky Education Association, represented by Murray State Crisp Center Chapter. I like the fact they uh, really focus on reading first books. They also do uh, read across America. They honor Dr. Seuss, and so that's a neat, neat thing. You have a favorite Dr. Seuss book, Chuck? I do. Um, uh, Cat in the Hat. Green Eggs and Ham. All right. That's mine. Oh, is Cat in the Hat even a book? It is. 46 that just passed was the Boy Scout Troop 391. They do one through uh, fifth graders from Morgan and Clark Elementary. And Merry Christmas. They're so cute. Bellevue Baptist Church Student Ministry coming up now. They've been a part of the Paducah Parade for five years. And the students would like everyone to remember the reason for the season is Jesus. And they want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas to them. And I completely agree with them. Me too. Um, the uh, Withers Broadcasting uh, group is following along. You know, uh, they said they've been in the ba uh, parade for five years, the Bellevue Baptist Church. That's about how long it's been going on at night, right? Yes. When you say around five years? Five, five to do six like, years. Uh, do you like the parade at night, Tammy? I do like it at night. The lights show up, and they're very pretty and very festive. I like it at night, too. I do. I like it a lot. Tammy's uh, brother, you're giving some enthusiastic <laughs> cheering. No, no, I'm just kidding, Tammy. Chuck, you weren't supposed to tell. I'm, I'm going to stop poking fun at family members. <laughs> Next, Chuck, we have the Riverport Youth Bowling Association. They have bowling every Saturday morning for kids called Strikes and Spares from 10 a.m. to noon. This is a very special group for me, Chuck. Both of my children are bowl on Saturday oh, mornings that's, here. That's cool, Tammy. I here come my children probably somewhere. There's my daughter <laughs> and my son. Hey, guys. My son. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, and my husband's in, he's in there. <laughs> now, are, now, I love you, 
don't be uh, don't be partial, Tammy, but are they good bowlers? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, Chuck. They're the best. All right, Chuck. Now coming up, we have the Fraternal Order of Police Lodge Number Fifteen. Been around since 1953, serving the community in many ways with things as Christmas cops, cops and bobbers, and many sports team uh, scholarship or um, sponsorships. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, thank you for local students. No, no. They yeah. They sponsor uh, many teams and they do a good job. We appreciate that. There's the roller girl troop. Next, Chuck, we have something called Just Us, which is an organization that helps artists in the community. Yeah, they do a lot of promoting for uh, comedians, a lot of different. Chick-fil-A uh, coming up towards us now where even the cow has a message. What is that message, Tammy? The message is wise men seek Jesus. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. <laughs> Plus it was... Uh, Right on him. It, it was on the couch. Yeah, did you on see the couch. The... I did, I did. He was wearing the message. He was. On his... All right, now, Chuck, this is my oh. favorite band, my alma mater, the Reedland High School Band. I was a, in the color guard. You know, we look Were like, you? Yes, won lots of awards, Chuck. Well, I bet you did. Yeah. Very talented. They are under the direction of Johnny Allen. One band member, Chuck, the uh, tuba player, has his tuba all decorated with lights. I saw and that. Tinsel. We have the uh, Boy Scouts uh, Pac-19 coming from Hendron Lone Oak. Yes, Chuck, and in the last year, the Pac's done lots of overnight trips and hiking adventures and summer camps, and they have even earned their polar bear badge. Nice. Sounds like a busy group. We have Morgan Elementary coming up. Uh, uh, school of Excellence and Integrity, in which I can agree with that. A lot of great teachers, a lot of great students there. They stress being and doing the best at whatever and whatever, whenever you do it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, is that still, that's still Morgan Elementary? It is so, still hey Morgan Elementary. That is my brother and sister-in-law, Matt and Carrie Thompson. Hey, Merry Matt Christmas. Carrie Thompson. Merry Christmas. He's such a fine job. Olivet Baptist Church coming up. They've been in the uh, Paducah community uh, for over 150 years. They're out uh, kind of close to the mall area. Yes, and you know what, Chuck? They've sent missionary teams all over the world to places like Tanzania, Africa, and even here with Mobile, Alabama, and to the Wind River Reservation in Wyoming. Right. We want to say a Merry Christmas to them and to uh, Pastor, Skip Park, uh, Pastor Skip Parsons. He, he does a very good job leading his congregation. Okay, Chuck, next we have the Paducah Quick Step Cloggers. Been around for 25 years. That's right, and they range from ages 8 to 70. So a lot of, a lot of different people clogging, uh, a lot of different. I love this song. That's right, Chuck, they meet every Monday night, year-round. And so you can contact the Paducah, um, call the Paducah Park Services yeah. for details. Wonderful. Just call Trudy McCutcheon if you want to be a clogger. Okay, Tammy, I just wanted to catch up with you and let you know that I had a fabulous time. We're going to pray. And I want to know, are you going to have me back next year? Absolutely. Okay. I, I, you were great. Chuck. Well, were... I really appreciate that. And I had a blast, and I just, if I didn't have to go to work. and Oh, oh I think I think I hear something. Are you leaving me? Is that what you're saying? Yes, I got to oh. go, but thank you, and y'all have a Merry Christmas. Well, Chuck has left me solo, and I uh, have Tom helping me here with my book, and passing by our members wishing you a Merry Christmas from Home Depot.
Home Depot would like to invite you and your children to a kids workshop on the first Saturday of every month. Coming up next, I have the River 10 Street Rods. They are cars from 1948 and older with modifications, and they are sponsored of a large charity uh, car show every year, the weekend after Memorial Day. And last year they raised $16,000 for charity. Absolutely beautiful cars. Merry Christmas. Coming up next, we have the Hugs Project of Western Kentucky, which is a nonprofit organization that makes cooling wraps and other items to send to our troops in care packages. In 2008, they sent over 400 packages to our troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. And the Hugs Project of Western Kentucky is 100% volunteer. They actually came out and did one of our TV shows with us talking about all of the great work they do for our servicemen and women. And I'm sure that they, they really appreciate all of those items and things that they give to them. Merry Christmas, thank you, thank you for your service. Next we have the Hendron Fire Department with over 40 members that protect the citizens of Hendron and Fremont communities. And they, are, they respond to things such as structure and vehicle and brush fires. And their motto states, we are a volunteer organization providing We are a volunteer organization providing professional service. Merry Christmas, Mickey. Several characters we have here. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This is Kentucky Right to Life. Next we have the Mayfield Elementary Cheerleaders from ages 5 to 12 who recently won the NCAA National Cheerleading Championship in Dallas, Texas. Actually not recently, it was actually last December. The group works very hard and practices almost every single day. Cheerleading is definitely a and something that you have to dedicate lots of time to and I know these girls really work hard. Merry Christmas. Next is the American Red Cross Volunteers. They do lots of good work in the community. Merry Christmas. And they also do a TV show with us with the executive director, Glenda Atkinson. And they, <clears throat> excuse me, I lost my place for just a second. In the community and around the world, the American Red Cross is changing lives. The Paducah area chapter would like to thank you for your support and wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Cornerstone Congregational Holiness Church, I got it right this time, Congregational, has organized in April 1967, again more than 4,000 churches with missions reaching 19 countries around the world, wishing you a blessed Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This is a McCracken County Public School District from is Western Kentucky's largest school system with over 7,000 students enrolled. They focus on success for the whole child, every child, with staff, uh, staff support and teachers and administrators. And they are leading the environment to create a positive and safe learning environment where a 21st century learning, thank you, oh, and we get candy from them, Tom, is, is leading 21st century leaders. Merry Christmas. Cub Scout Pack 22. They are so cute. Merry Christmas. I put my Tootsie Rolls from the uh, McCracken County Schools in my pocket. I'm so excited to be eating those later.
more kids from Cub Scout Pack 22, I believe. Merry Christmas. This is GPS Recycle Now, which they are, their motto is Reduce, Reuse, Recycle, Rejoice this year. They're celebrating their second year providing Greater Paducah and McCracken County with area options to recycle. To date, uh, Recycle Now has diverted over 400,000 pounds of recyclable material from our local landfills. An awesome project to take on to help save our community and they are followed by the McCracken County 4-H, which is open to youth ages, primarily 9 through 18. And they want to promote leadership and life skills while forming friendships for a lifetime. Merry Christmas. These are, you just recently saw Pashu, uh, people from Sonic Drive-In, from Western Paducah and Mayfield. Now we have again more of our firefighters. They are from the Farley Fire Protection District. They are wishing everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And telling you a very important message to check your smoke detectors. And always use a designated driver. Merry Christmas. Again, every time you see a firefighter, please thank them for their service and all the work that they do, um, working to save you and keep you safe during the holidays and all year round. Next is the Hope Unlimited float, which is their mobile medical unit, which is an extension of Hope Unlimited and equipped to perform many services that are offered at the Paducah Center. All the services at Hope Unlimited are free and confidential and it is dedicated to the empowering teens to make life-affirming decisions. Now we have the West Kentucky Region Model A Restorers Club. This uh, 1930 Model A Ford is owned and operated by Frank and Peggy Johnson of Simpsonia. My father-in-law actually has uh, an old car, an old car that he's restored. I wish I knew enough about cars to tell you what kind it is, but it's really pretty. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Taco John's of Paducah. This is members from Popeye's Chicken and Biscuits. And they're followed by um, a chicken on top of their float, their truck. From Pot and I guess he I guess he's Popeye, Popeye's chicken. They're located on Lone Oak Road and they're asking, they are, excuse me, they are taking food and toys for family services. So please drop off donations at the store and they are on Jackson Street and Bridge Street. Next is the Purchase Area Antique Tractor Club, dedicate to, dedicated to restoring antique tractors so they can be used in parades and shows where people can see and hear them run and all for the people to enjoy them. They bring back memories of the youth. The one tractor that you just saw is called the Veep. It was bought by Vice President Alvin Barkley. It says that they, lots of people, uh, they work on these and they bring back memories of youth and growing up. And the hard hours spent driving tractors was not fun, but they went to, uh, to the city looking for jobs for a better hours and a better way to make a living. Either way, the memories of our youth are generally generally looked upon with fond memories.
Next is the Bristol Broadcasting WKYQ. Still Western Kentucky's favorite after 35 years, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. The WKYQ rabbit sitting on top. Merry Christmas. Next is the U.S. Coast Guard. They are, member, they are comprised of active duty, reserve, and auxiliary members dedicated to safety and security of the maritime transportation industry. Merry Christmas. They are working on the Ohio, Tennessee, Cumberland, and Mississippi rivers. Merry Christmas. Next, these bright blue shiny lights are from the McCracken County Sheriff's Department truck. This entry includes McCracken County elected officials, Sheriff Jailer and Corner, and they would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And we thank them as we do our firefighters for their service and helping keep our community safe. Sheriff John Hayden out here wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. These new uh, Sheriff, these uh, McCracken County cruisers look real nice and they look pretty fast too I might say. sales and leasing. I don't know if Dan got a got a, uh, any video of it, but the the uh, the dog that's in the in the front of Aaron's truck is looks like he's sound asleep and feeling nice and warm. Next is Mid Continent University, representing 21 counties. There are over 1,700 students enrolled with adult classes held in McCracken County. It is a four-year liberal arts Christian university, again, representing over 20 plus counties. Excuse me, 20 plus countries. Christmas. This is Girl Scout Troop Reedland Service Unit. They are a group for 10 to 12 troops that have joined together for this one float. The Girl Scouts of Kentuckiana. Merry Christmas. Followed by the Merriman House Domestic Crisis Center, which was founded in 1978 to provide safe shelter and support for victims of domestic violence and their children. And next, we have the Lone Oak High School Marching Band, directed by Chris Forsyth. from Kinsey's Lawn and Landscape. Wishing everyone a Merry Christmas.
This is the Gaither Suites at West Park Float, and they have a wagon pulled by these beautiful horses, and it is an assisted living personal care facility in Paducah. Merry Christmas. The last float, of course, is Santa Claus. I'm gonna see if I can catch a ride on here and see if they'll take me out of here. I don't bet they won't. Maybe he'll just talk to me. Merry Christmas, Santa. Merry Christmas. I've been good this year. Anyway, that's it for this year's holiday parade. Santa wouldn't let me get on the float with him. I'd like to uh, say goodbye from all of us at Paducah 2, Dan Shepard behind the camera, uh, Tom Butler Jr., Brad Abernathy, and of course my co-MC, um, Chuck Tate, who had to go to work. I'd like to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from all of us at West Kentucky Community and Technical College.